Good Tuesday morning, Northern Michigan. Kevin Bavers, Executive Director of the Red Cross of Northwest Michigan, joins us this morning. Good morning, Kevin. I want to thank you for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You have obviously been a very, very busy person along with the other members of the Red Cross uh, dealing with all of the emergency shelters that are being set up for people who are still without power. Tell me what you've been seeing and how the Red Cross has been stepping up to help these people that are in need right now here in Northern Michigan. We've been seeing a lot of people coming in, uh, using the shelters for meals, uh, refilling water jugs, uh, a handful of people every night in each shelter. Uh, about 50 people each night stay in the shelters. Uh, we've served several hundred meals since this started. Um, people looking for hot food, uh, a warm shower, a place to get out of the cold. Mm -hmm. It's just been... Uh, real devastating. The basic necessities that you need on a regular basis. And March is Red Cross month, which I do want to mention. Are you at a point right now, are you still looking for volunteers to help with these shelters or, or is the Red Cross at a point where, where they're okay? What if people would like to help in the future? Well, right now we've brought in a number of volunteers from surrounding chapters and um, we're, we're always looking for volunteers but we need trained volunteers so we okay. need them to get engaged take the disaster training and be ready locally it doesn't mean you need to respond every day but when something like this happens being trained is so critical because we need people on the ground locally now i know last night you were actually out in leelana at one of the shelters that are being set about there will you be back there today will you be going to different shelters helping with other relief efforts uh, i'm going to try to visit more of the shelters um, talk with more of the people, see what the needs are, and um, just keep real close contact with our emergency managers, see what is going on, and um, what we can do to help more. And if people would like to contact the Red Cross, do you recommend them go to your website? Uh, they could go to our website, okay. um, call the hotline that uh, we've been putting out there, and uh, if people um, want to try to make a difference for this situation or future ones, um, being able to give a financial gift is really going to help right now or in the future. If they have the means to make a gift of $500 or $1,000 makes a tremendous impact in everything we do. All right. Well, Kevin, thank you so much. We appreciate all of your efforts in the Red Cross, of course. And I will post uh, a link to the Red Cross if you are interested in volunteering or making that financial donation for those in need. Taking a look, though, now at your bus stop forecast this morning. Here's Storm Team Meteorologist Joe Charlevoix.